Hey, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this text animation in Blender 4.0 on a MacBook Pro, M1 chip, and 16 RAM. So in this video, I'm going to use my all-time soda can. You can now download that for free. You will find the link in my description. So first, start with set up the blend file. So select the camera, then press Shift, and then select the light and press X to delete it, just because we don't need it. So now we are going to set up the geometry nodes. So the text part in the geometry node is inspired by Thazero channel. I link his channel in the description. Open a new window. By holding your mouse over here until this symbol shows up, then drag the new window that way you will until the new window shows up. Then change the editor type to the geometry node editor. Then press N to unhide this sidebar in the geometry and click on new and rename it to text. Select the group input and press X to delete it because we don't need it. Then press Shift plus A to add a string to the curve. Plug the curve instances to geometry and on the string box, type in what text you want. Then press 7 on your numpad to go to the top view. This is how you enable the numpad for laptops. Go to Edit, then click on Preferences. Go to Input and then check Emulate Numpad. Now change the font type to what you like, but if you want to use the exact font type I use, I'm going to link that in the description so you can download that. Then change from left to center and change from the top baseline to the middle. Then add a fill curve and place it between spring to curve and the group output. Then press Z to switch shading mode and select wireframe. We are going to remesh this and delete the unnecessary things we don't need. So to do that, add a resample curve and place it between string to curve and fill curve. Change from count to evaluated, then change from triangles to n-gons. And now you can see we clean up our mesh. Now add an extrude mesh to make some depth to the text. Place the extrude mesh between fill curve and group output, and then change the offset scale to 0.2. As you see, we don't have any bottom faces for our text, so to fix that, add a flip faces and place it between fill curve and extrude mesh, then add a join geometry and place it between extrude mesh and group output, then plug the mesh from flip faces into the geometry on the join geometry. Add a realize instances and place it between join geometry and group output. Now we want the text nice and smooth. So add a subdivide curve and place it between string to curve and resample curve. Then change the cuts to three. And now for the last part of the geometry node. Add a merge by distance and place it between realize instances and group output. Then change from all to connected. And on the viewport, press control Control plus A to apply the visual geometry to mesh. Press 1 on your numpad to get to the front view. Then press R plus X plus 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Then right click and click on set origin and change the origin to the center of mass surface. Then press option plus G to center it to the 3D cursor. Then press F2 to rename it to text. And for Mac users like me, press FN first, then F2. So if you are using my free 3D model soda can, I'll show you how to import that model. And press H to unhide the text in the viewport for now. Go to the file and click on append. Then find your downloaded file and click on that. Click on the object, select the middle soda can, and click on Append. Press Option plus G to center the object on the 3D cursor. So go to the render settings, then change the render engine from EV to Cycles. And if you have a GPU device, go and change to that. Also change the max samples on the viewport to 64 and change the noise threshold to 0.1 so you can render faster. Also change the max samples on the render to 300 and check the motion blur if you want. Then unfold the color management and change the look to high contrast. Now let's set up the HDRI. So go to world, click on this yellow dot and select the environment texture. Click on open and choose you HDRI image. In the description, I linked the HDRI I used. So download that, then unfold the film. And check the transparent, so we have the HDRI affected, but we can't see it in the viewport. So back to the setup stuff. But first, select the soda can, then press H to hide it on the viewport for now. So this is how you enable the extra curves. Click on Edit, then go to Preferences. Click on Add-ons. Search for Curve Tools, and then check the Curve Tools. So press Shift plus A to add a curve spiral, and click on Archimedean. So now for the curve spiral settings. I I figured this is my settings, but you can use your own settings and experiment with this. Change the height to 2, then change the radius to 2 as well, and change the steps to 64. Last, change the turns to 3, then tab back to object mode. So this is the tab button just right over the caps lock. 
press Option plus H to unhide the object we just hided. Then press N to unhide the sidebar and select the text and change the X rotation to 150. Then select the soda can. Press S plus 0.5 to scale it down. Then press Control plus A to apply the scale. Select the text, go to the modifiers, then add an array modifier, change the count to 6, and change the factor X to 1.1, then add a curve modifier, and change the curve object to the spiral we just added. And now we're going to animate the text X location, so make sure you're on frame 1. Change the X location to 35. Then right-click and make a single keyframe. So this orange thing over here is a keyframe. And then go to frame 10. Change X location to 1. Right-click and make a single keyframe. Then go to frame 80. Change the X location to 3. Right-click and make a single keyframe. Then last, go to frame 90. Change the X location to 40. Then right-click and make a single keyframe. Now change the end frame to 120. Play the animation by hitting the space bar. And this is what we've now. I think this looks good. And now we're going to animate the soda can. So go to frame 1 and then change the Z location to 3. Right click and make a single keyframe. Now we're going to change the rotation. So change the X rotation to 18.63. Then change the Y rotation to 1.2865. And last, change the Z rotation to 41.395. Then press I over the rotating to make a keyframe. Then go to frame 20. Change Z location to 3.1. Then right click and make a single keyframe. Then change all the rotations to 0. Then press I to make a keyframe. Then go to frame 90. Change Z location to 3.15. Then right click and make a single keyframe. Then press I to make a keyframe. And go to frame 105. Change Z location to 3.5. Then right click and make a single keyframe. And change the Z rotation to 360. Then press I to make a keyframe. Then go to frame 120. Change Z location to 0.85. Then right click and make a single keyframe. Now we're going to change the rotation. So change the X rotation to 13.619. Then change the Y rotation to 11.013. And last change the Z rotation to 437.83. Then press I over the rotating to make a keyframe. Now let's add some scene stuff and make a scene of this. And press Shift plus A to add a camera. Then go to the camera settings. Change the focal length to 125 millimeters and unfold the viewport display. Change the pass part 2 to 1 so it's black around. Then unfold the composition guides and check the thirds and center. And now add empty plane axes. And then change the Z location to 3. And change the Y location to 0.875. And rename it to camera focus. And select the camera. Change the Z location to 3. And change the Y location to 31. Then go to the camera settings again. Check the depth of field. Change the focus object to the camera focus. Then change the F stop to 0.4. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar and this is what we have now. I think this looks good, so let's add a backdrop for our scene. Then press Shift plus A to add a plane. Then press R plus X plus 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Then press S plus 5 to scale it by 5. And then change the Z location to 3. Then press G plus Y plus 5 to move it by 5 on the Y axis. Press 0 on your numpad to go to camera view. Then press S to scale it a little bit more. Let's play the animation by hitting the space bar and this is what we have now. I think this looks good. Then rename it to BG, which is a shortening for background. And now we are going to add some material to the text and the background. So first the text, just because it's very easy. Select the text, go to Shadings, click on New, and rename it to Text Material. So change the base color to hashtag 93C666C, then change the roughness to 0.1. And now for the background material. Select the background, click on New, and rename it to BG Material. Then press Shift plus A to add a gamma node, and plug the color into the base color. Then change the color to hashtag d 36 D65, and last change the gamma to 1.1. And also, I scale the soda can up a little bit. So if you want the exact size that I use, press S plus 1.2 to scale it up. Then press Control plus A to apply the scale. Also, if you see some glitch in the text, go to Data, unfold the normal, and check Auto Smooth. Now we are going to set up the lightings. I just added some lights and rendered a video for you so you can see it better. Yeah, you may be disappointed about this one, but if you like my comment down down below, I'll make a video about my light setup in a separate video.
video. And now for the last render settings. Go to output. I like to render my videos in 4K, so the number for that is 3840 and 2160. I also like to check the render region. And when you select the camera, this is what that does. A little tiny cross in the middle. Change the frame rate to 30. To make a video of this, change the file format to FFmpeg video, then unfold the encoding. Change the container to MPEG-4, then go and change the output quality to high quality for better quality. And here is my results. Thank you for watching and I hope you like my tutorial. Comment down below what I can make in the next video and with the editing and all that thing. And feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and videos.